Welcome to the Dollar Line. I'm Tracy. It's been a around the nation fraternity's answer room for the world in a dispute over hazing. With each highly publicized incident, the public becomes more and more alarmed. The question is, is it healthy or is it harmful? And we're going to take today a stark look at the stark realities of hazing. Switch it, switch it, gamma! Gamma! Switch it, switch it, gamma! Gamma! Switch it, gamma! Switch it, gamma! Switch it, gamma! Switch it, gamma! Welcome back. I'm Clay C. That was a clip from Spike League's movie School Days, which begs the question, how far would you go to belong to a particular group or organization? Recently, a Prince George's County jury found a Greek fraternity liable in the brutal beating of a University of Maryland student. Here's a portion of that trial. The next day, Davis landed me with the elbow, and by this time, like, my wife will probably go back to see you. Joining us here in the studio is attorney Douglas Fireberg, who represented Joseph Snell, the young man seen on that tape. How, how is he doing today? And when did that occur? Uh, that occurred in 1993. Um, and that's a difficult question to answer, how he's doing today. Uh, he still suffers very seriously from what happened in 1993. Um, uh, e even to the extent of not wanting to be seen in public to, to deal with this particular incident that happened to him. Uh, Eric McCoy representing the Alpha Omega Graduate Chapter by the Phi Theta Fraternity Incorporated. Uh, a big problem uh, with organizations and society in general in terms of hazing. A lot of people feel that in order to attain something in life, they have to work hard for it. And the thing about it that people don't realize that with processes and series and rights that you go through, rights of passage, if you look at it in that sense, a lot of organizations do good things in terms of study uh, improvement, in terms of leadership development. And the thing is that we look at these incidents and we say that these organizations as a whole are bad. These organizations are simply a reflection of the society that we live in. If you have bad people in your schools, in your community, in your society, you're going to have bad people, you're gonna have bad people, in, have bad people in the organizations as well. It's not a reflection of the organization, are they? But these organizations are soliciting students and they have authority on particular college campuses to solicit students. And these organizations have a responsibility then when they're on campus soliciting students to do something more. And that's the point we make in civil litigation. In the University of Maryland, we had an organization on campus, just so you know, that was advertising itself to students and promoting itself as what we interpreted as being a very violent organization, calling itself the Sons of Blood and Thunder. And on Maryland's campus, that did mean blood. Policy questions. Omega Psi Phi has a policy, just like we talked about the Panhellenic Association, that there will be no branding of particular people and fraternities. This is evidence of branding. And the organization may say one thing, but when the organization solicits members on campus, it has more of a responsibility. Okay.